So, so far we've been looking at uh, resistor only circuits, we've looked at capacitor only circuits, and we're going to combine these two in what's called an RC circuit. So in my, I have a simple circuit here, this is my battery 10 volts, here's my 5 ohm resistor, and here's my 2 farad capacitor, and then I have my switch right here. So let's just run through what's going to happen conceptually when we close this switch. So as soon as we close the switch, we're going to have a path for electrons to flow. And if you notice, we're going to have electrons immediately start flowing through the circuit, and they're going to start accumulating on, here, on this end of the plate. And then at the same time, we have a big positive end over here, right? It's going to attract electrons off of this plate. Uh, away from um, this plate, which means this plate is going to start to take on a positive. Okay, now over time, these negatives are going to start to build up. And as these negatives start to build up and these positives start to build up, they're going to push back against this push. And eventually, hopefully, you can see as this builds up, it's going to build up enough or it's going to push back with the exact same force as these, as uh, the battery. And at that point, the flow of charge or the current in the circuit would actually stop. So that's kind of the concept of this problem. Um, there's really two situations that we're going to look at at this point and that's going to be immediately and then after a long time. So I'm asking you to solve for the VIQ and that just means what's the voltage across the current through and the charge on these two devices. So let's just write that as a VIQ and then we're going to look at both the resistor and the capacitor and just kind of see what happens to them both before and after. So the immediately after closing the switch, we're going to call this the T equals, let's call it zero plus. So it's right after that zero second time immediately after. So we'll call this the T equals zero plus table here. So what I want you to notice is as soon as we close this circuit, there's going to be a huge flow of charge. In fact, what we're going to do is we're going to treat this capacitor as if, so immediately we're going to treat it as if it was a short circuit. In other words, there's going to be a massive flow of charge here. In other words, our circuit would look like this. One resistor, one voltage. Okay, now we can solve this circuit easily, right? So the flow of current in this particular circuit is just going to be uh, 2 amps, right? 10 volts over 5 ohms is 2 amps. So in this case, the resistor, there's going to be 2 amps flowing through it. Uh, charge doesn't apply to resistors, right? Now the current, obviously there's no current actually flowing through the capacitor, but really what we mean is kind of this before and after case is it's flowing uh, you know right into the capacitor well that's going to also be two amps this is a series circuit so uh, all the currents the same for both of these devices now the voltage across well if we only have one resistor here the voltage is obviously just going to be the same 10 volts here and then for the capacitor well there is no voltage drop right it's a series, uh, sorry, it's, it's a short circuit here. So this would just simply be zero. And if there's zero volts across, there's going to be zero charge. So that's what's going to happen immediately when we close the circuit. Now let's look at what happens to this capacitor over time. So remember, as we said, this is going to start to build up and eventually this current is going to stop. And so this will be, we'll call it time equals infinity so that means for like a long period of time, we'll just say it's at infinity, right? Time is super long. So let's go ahead and redraw the table. V I Q R C. So again, over a long period of time, uh, again, this current is going to stop here, right? And so we're going to say the current through here is zero amps, zero amps. In fact, for a long time, and they'll usually use that word long time, treat the capacitor, capacitor like, well, what's the opposite of a short circuit? 
an open circuit. Okay, so we're going to uh, imagine that our circuit now looks like this, where this is open here. Okay, where in place of the capacitor it would be open. And this would be an R here, whatever it was, what was it, 5 and 10. So anyway, at this point, the capacitor is going to be, uh, you know, open, and so obviously the, the current would stop. Okay, how about the voltage? Well, notice if this is 10 volts, in order to stop that, right, this would have to take on the exact 10 volts. And so this would have to be 10 volts as well across the capacitor. Now the resistor, on the other hand, since there's no current flowing through it, right, I is equal to zero here, that would mean that um, there's no voltage drop across that, right? So the voltage is simply going to be zero. Uh, again, charge doesn't apply for resistors. And then our capacitor, well, now we'll just use, remember, capacitor equals Q over V or Q equals C times V. And so in this case, we just had 2 times 10, which gives us 20 coulombs of charge. So that's the basic RC circuit. We're going to do a few more uh, slightly more complicated ones uh, in the next few videos.